What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of a bunch of Disney. That's right. I tell you what, let's get started. So today what we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about our favorite hotels. And these are hotels that are on Disney property yep. that are in each one of the classifications. So Heather, what are the classifications of hotels that they have? So we, um, they have three classifications. You have value, moderate, and luxury. And there's a little variety within each. When you have go get to the luxury, you've got some different villas that you could do, things like that. But yeah, and we we're just gonna leave it in the basic three categories. Right, and, and we have not at all stayed at every hotel by no. any means. However, we have been to Disney a few times. You may know we live in St. Louis, the Midwest of the Midwest. Um, more specifically, Winsville, which again I've told you does sound like something. They don't. Yeah. Actually, it is. It's the crossroads to the. Oh, crossroads of the Midwest. Yeah, like, like right smack in yeah. the middle. <laughs> But even though we've lived here for our entire marriage, which has been uh, 14 years as the time of filming, um, there's been times that we've actually owned season passes to Disney World. Uh, we've gone two to three times a year, several times. That so pre-children, I think. Yeah, it was. <laughs> but we love going to Disney World. So we've stayed at various places. So when we tell you this, um, you know, everything that we tell you are things that we've experienced. Yeah. So the Value Resort, um, our favorite is the movies. Mm -hmm. All-star movies. Now, there's all-star sports, all-star music, mm -hmm. and there's the pop century. And pop then century falls in that same kind of category. Technically, the art and animation falls in that category. Yeah. But it is, honestly, really on the more pricey range. The rooms are, are beautiful. Mm -hmm. But um, but going for value, um, these, these ones are great, too, with kids um, because there's lots of pools and lots of buses. Um, and just big. Everything's big, big, mm -hmm. bright, colorful. Um, but it is the most economical way to stay on property and get to experience the Disney transportation. You get the extra magic hours. Um, so They're very are, centrally located, so it's easy to get to pretty much anywhere. To most anything, yeah. yeah. Um, so we pick the movies, though, because we love, love movies. movies. Um, so it's really fun for us. Like one of our favorite things is movie quotes. What movie was that from? You know, so um, for us, that was our connection with it. We did notice too, I felt like it was a little quieter mm -hmm. than say the Pop Century. Um, it's smaller, so its capacity is going to be smaller. It was actually yeah. around before the Pop, so when they built the Pop, it actually drew some of the crowds that were staying at all the all-star resorts, the movies, the music, and sports. Mm -hmm. So it actually is a little bit quieter and that's actually something that we prefer yeah yeah so that that was really nice and then um I, we felt like you didn't have to wait as long for the buses uh, mainly because volume um now the pop runs more buses but your lines are a lot longer so it might Probably equal out, out but it felt it felt like you weren't waiting as long yeah. which sometimes perception is reality so for the moderate hotel heather what is our pick for the moderate hotel all right moderate hotel for us now again this is just this is us but we love port orleans riverside yeah um specifically the mansion section mm -hmm. um there is nothing i love more than a southern mansion i love the look of it it's picturesque the hanging spanish moss um, so it really gives you that feel like you're in the deep south and it's absolutely beautiful. It's very peaceful, beautiful little lazy river that runs through it. Um, you also have the advantage you can take a boat to Disney Springs, which is a really nice extra transportation that you can do. They even have um, pole fishing, cane fishing, um, and things like that. So it's just a very nice, peaceful resort. You could also pop over to Port Orleans French Quarter and grab yourself some beignets. beignets. So, yeah. you know. Gotta, gotta love the beignets. I love beignets. Yeah. Out of all the all-stars, what do we prefer? We prefer the movies because we love movies. We also love uh, that style with the Port Orleans. So mm -hmm. what, what's great about Disney properties is there's so many perks to be able to, when you stay on a Disney property, yes, mm -hmm. it can be a little more expensive and we'll go into other videos of how you can save money and, and get really good deals on those. But, you know, if you're going to stay on property, you get access to the Disney Magic Hours, you get access to the transportation. I mean, there's just so many things you get access to. Yeah. 
and there's so much variety of different kinds of hotels. Like if you prefer this style or this yeah. style, you can go there. So for us though, Port Orleans, that's kind of our go-to yeah. when it comes to moderate. Yeah, I do love that though. There's something for everybody. Mm -hmm. Now what's our last when it comes to the luxury hotels? Luxury. Now we've got to caveat this with, this is the only this luxury, is the only luxury hotel, hotel we stayed, stayed at. at. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've had family that have stayed at others. Polynesian, um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> my little brother loves uh, Wilderness Lodge the best. Mm -hmm. um, my older brother loves Animal Kingdom Lodge. Um, I like mean, who, a giraffe who doesn't like backyard, waking up with yeah, a giraffe in your you know backyard? So <laughs> yeah, you know. But for us, um, it is the contemporary. Yeah. Um, we've specifically stayed in the Bay Lake Tower, mm -hmm. um, and our preferred is Lakeview because yeah. what we love is the little magical electric water parade that yeah. they have. It's just vintage. It's fun. It's nostalgic. Um, it just brings back so many wonderful memories and it's, it's just a perfect way to end your night. There's so many great restaurants. Mm. There's so many great restaurants. You've got California Grill, you've got The Wave yeah. that are right there yeah. in the hotel. Even the Contempo Cafe, mm -hmm. uh, the, their quick service is fantastic. Chef Mickey's is there if you you know wanted to do the character they dining. They got character but... dining and stuff. You're on the monorail run mm -hmm. so unlike some of the other luxury hotels there's only three that are really on that yeah. run and that's one of them and we love that yeah. and here's the thing it's walking distance to the magic kingdom that's what i was gonna say okay i figured yeah, yeah. yeah. but yeah it's walking distance i mean i mean we've even done it with our kids yeah a little 10 minute walk to on the way home i've had to carry one of them but still i mean like it's just a little 10 minute walk yeah and it's magical Mm -hmm. So there's just so many great things about it. That's our go-to. Plus, you know, we yeah. love things at the Polynesian. That's just a monorail trip away. Yeah. We love things at the Grand Floridian. That's just a monorail mm -hmm. trip away. Uh, me right. personally, I love that the Contemporary was the, one of the very first, it was the first luxury yeah. hotel that was built uh, with Disney World. Yeah. Um, so it has that history to it as well. Mm -hmm. So that's our pick. Yeah, I yeah. you know I really love too, and you don't you don't think about the contemporary going. Mm, is it magical? Is it Disney? Um, because it's contemporary. They did the most amazing job working in Mickey. Yeah. Into the room. It it is phenomenal what they did. I, I would buy the artwork off the wall and take it home. Yeah. I love it. That's one of my favorite. Like there's all different types and styles of of art and mm -hmm. Disney that we see. I love that subtle tribute yeah. to the mouse, that subtle tribute yeah. to Disney that makes you look for it, but it's still aesthetically pleasing yeah. to even very classy tastes. Yeah. So yeah, we love, we love the contemporary. Love the contemporary. So what we want to know is what's your favorite and why is that your favorite? What yeah. is your favorite value? What's your favorite moderate? Yeah, thank you. So what are your favorites for those, and why are those your favorite? Yeah. Um, you're probably going to mention ones that we've never stayed at before, yeah. and we love to try new things. We do. Plus, you know, just remember, whenever you um, contribute in the comments, you're actually helping others as well. It's part of a big, great community. Mm -hmm. So we encourage you to do that. So if you haven't subscribed yet, we would encourage you to do that. Also turn on the notification bell because we do put out this show. We also put out vlogs. We also put out food reviews on a weekly basis here. So we would love, because our goal is to help make your experience as magical as possible. So thank you so much. In fact, thanks a bunch. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> Heading my way. way. Zippity doo da. Zippity -a. Zippity -a. Yeah, that's an outtake that'll never <laughs> see the shown. night of day. Yeah. Mm.